machetes. I just think they know what it feels like to juggle machetes. This week was one of those weeks, and the machetes were on fire, is, is what this week was like. And, and blindfolded, juggling the machetes on fire, felt like what this week was like. And put on a unicycle, juggling the machetes on fire, blindfolded, uh, with a flat tire on the unicycle. That's what it was all coming together, and then you find yourself stuck in the middle of a dodgeball game. Uh, and that was, that was the week. And so I made the arrangements, and I had to, some stuff go down at the hospital, and had to send Kevin a text and say, Kevin, I am so sorry. I, there's, there's no way I can, can do this. I can't make it happen. And immediately he calls me. I'm like, he's out trying to write the thing. He committed, he was going to write the book, and here I did, you know, text, and he calls, and we talk. He's like, hey, it's okay, you can't be everywhere, you know, at one time. It'll happen, things will happen how it happens. Well, it turns out, my plans for the week got worse. So, it enabled me to find a way down here. And I showed up this morning at about 3.45. Dave Pinnegar, uh, originally was going to stay with him, he said, my brother's already here. So he kicks his brother out and makes him go find someplace else to sleep. I pulled into his house at 3.45 in the morning and was on the pillow at 4 o'clock sleeping. Did you tell him about the bed that left? And, and the, he had roses, petals, and a mint, and he's curled up at the foot of the bed. No, and, and so I get in his sleep in this morning, his alarm goes cranking off, and what is the sound of that alarm? It's something like it's Monday, and then he starts singing to his alarm. You sang this morning with your alarm, didn't you? Well, he, Pandora, but I was singing it, it comes on and he sings along and throwing pots and pans and he was getting ready for the deal so I, I got up too after a couple hours of sleep and I was thinking that Kevin was going to put me on early I'd do my thing and I'd go take a nap in the back in the corner but he held the whole thing all day right as the other night you're ready to go and I've already burned up three minutes of that stupid joke and here we are to, to close it up so I'm going to share just a little bit of art with you it's beautiful, you guys have seen artists in their own craft uh, performing. Um, I'm not like those guys. Uh, I don't play rugby. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, flown and uh, you know jumped out of a, a plane and ski jumped and done all the things that, that Nathan's done. And, and I don't, I don't do pictures and art like this. But I'll, I'll share a little piece of art that, that I feel best represents me and what, uh, what I can offer. Um, this is my art. Maybe we can frame it up here alongside of, alongside of David's. This is the. Maybe this is minimalism. Is that what they call it? It's just, yeah, what is this? Um, it can be whatever you want. You can interpret it how you want. Um, it might represent me, just the, the one black dot, the, the, the me guy. Um, could be a black hole. I don't know. It's my checking account. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> but the, the, it kind of represents. And sometimes we just we see ourselves as, as this, and it, is, it, is it really a, a white card with a black dot? Is it a black card with a white surround? I'm going to invite you to expand your mind, open up, and show you how you might view yourself by this unique card, because all of us are unique cards in our own way. This card is unique. It has four sides, not just four edges, but four sides. The first side of the card, it has one dot, and the second side of the card it has four dots. On the third side of the card, it has three dots, and the last side of the card, it has six. Did I go a little fast for a second? For a second, you could see it, couldn't you? One dot on this side, four dots on this side, three dots on this side, six dots on the last. Now, what I've just done is called lying. No, it's not. <laughs> but I've shared a couple of perceptions with you, and sometimes we see ourselves this way, when in reality we are more than what we thought we were. And notice by the work of my hands, we can make things appear different than they really are. Not only ourselves, by other people's hands, but our work, we can help others see more than they really are, more than they believe they are. On this side, remember the, the six, the four, was the same as the six, just by the placement of the hands. Um, and, and I know that uh, in life, we get graded differently, we get judged differently, we put labels on ourselves. Those labels do not define us. They might describe us at a point in time, but that's a snapshot. We don't live in a single dimension. That's not, that's not who we are, I kind of heard. Um, those labels don't define us. It's okay that we feel depressed. It's okay that we feel anxious. It's okay that we feel lonely. 
Those are feelings and emotions. We're supposed to experience all those emotions in life, but they don't define us. On the back side of the card, remember I tried to convince you there were three. How many dots were there really? Yeah, no. You were really there all along. There was three. Just like on this side, there were six. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like that <laughs> trick. I've done that for a lot of years, and I've started to see this really is like us. We are all unique cards. And at times we might be labeled, but really all of us have the potential to be that perfect 10. It's there all along. We just didn't see it. Maybe it was other people's hands that shaped us wrong and devalued who we thought we were. Maybe it was our own limitations and our own perceptions um, that have held us back and tie us down. This week, as I've thought about all this, all of these same thoughts that I was hearing from Big John and from Nathan and from even last week with, with uh, Peter and, and Alex and, and David's art, all these things that I've been hearing, those were all running around in my head. And the ideas that I had, you guys were saying them today, and I'm thinking, I just had that this morning. I thought about the, the affirmations and the, the introduction of the, the, the guys out there bouncing around. Like, what if that's how you started every day? Reminding yourself of who you were and that you are a 10. I envisioned walking around and telling people they are a 10, and I saw Kevin do that earlier. He wanted to get that point across. I was talking with his wife out, out in the hall, and I'm like, how neat it is to be surrounded because everybody has within them that magic that ability to be a 10. We all have that. When you get around other people that are expressing that, doesn't it make it feel much more natural to you? So my invitation would be to you, to no matter what you were labeled before on that card, to see yourself, because in reality you are a 10. I'm not a 10 in rugby. I'm not a 10 in his, I'm not a 10 like him. But each one of us have the ability to bring out that love. Each one of us have a bit of divinity within us. And we can love perfectly. That's what we can do perfectly. I can't do the parallel parts perfectly. I can't do it. I can love perfectly and so can you. That's the gift that we have. And that's, we feel that amongst everybody here. We feel that love and that desire. That's the magic that's within it. And that's what I hope to kind of leave in your mind that idea to share. I'll share one more, just to kind of leave you with a little bit of fun. I want to have a little bit of fun. And I need a volunteer to help me with this. I want Kevin's wife to come help me with this. Would you help me with this one? Can you give a round of applause? Not going to make her disappear. I've, I've got an idea. Okay. You can try this at home. Here's what we're going to do. I know you feel comfortable there, but I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i done enough. I want you standing up here. Here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you take the rope just like this. I'm going I'm to roll up the sleeves. This is going to get good, Kevin. Okay. Right, here's how we're going to do it. Off the watch. Just like that. Perfect. I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to have you tie up. Let's tie up the legs just like this. There you go, nice, nice, uh, nice tight knot there. Yeah, all the way down. You've got to do it nice and tight. Good. I'll put my fingers there in the center. You can tie another knot right there. Done much work, much work on stage before? Uh, a little. Yeah, not bad. Any idea what part he was facing the audience right then? I'm just kidding. I was fine. Hold this in your left hand. Here you go, on the other left hand, the other left. There you go, hold this, hold this one firmly. Right. Yeah, I know, I'm going a little faster. I need you to stand on the other side so they can see too. Go ahead and, go ahead and tie my hands down tight, right on top. Nice and tight. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tight, tight, nice and tight. Yeah. Do it however you would tie a knot. There you go. No laces on those shoes. I've got you nervous too. Nice and tight. There you go. Sure, yeah, put another knot on the top. When the fingers are white, the rope is tight. Do it tight. Wait a minute. Squeeze tight. Uh, untie that again. It's, it's just coming apart. Yeah, it's coming apart. Roll it, roll it around. Keep rolling around. Keep spinning the other, other direction. It was loose. There you go. Now cinch it down tight. Roll it one more time. Keep going. That's okay. No, keep turning the other way. It's got to go tighter. Keep turning. No, twist it. There you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now cinch that tight. See that knot? Ow. Yep, yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, now tighter, 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 tighter. I just need a solid knot. Okay, good. Does that feel solid? Yeah, you're hurting. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so go ahead and take the jacket, <laughs> place it over the white knuckles. I just want to make sure we're tight. Over your head. Very good. Right over the white knuckles. All the way down. Yes, good. Thank you. Give her a hand. You're doing wonderful. <laughs> Go ahead and pull the jacket off, make sure my hands are still tight. Make sure everything's solid, we're good. Tight, knuckles are still still white. Good. Place it over the top. Big round of applause. Like Van White. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 you are so good at kite. And so what I want you to do. Go ahead and take off the jacket. Make sure we're tight underneath. You had a dance move there. She should have been up there dancing. Still white? Very good. Okay. Place it, place it back down on top. You like that? Big round of applause. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> You're doing wonderful. Make sure we're tight underneath, really tight. Wonderful, okay, good. Go and place the jacket back on top. Very good, stand right close to me. You won't fit right there on the trap door, very good, thank you. Now, we're gonna have a little competition to see who's faster near you. That was what we call three second delay competition. Faster, me or you? We're gonna count to three. You see if my hands are still tight up underneath. One, two, don't cheat. Three. Take the jacket off. Yes, she does it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.